All right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today, back here in Sweden. Thank you so much for joining me. I got Kent Hill, Mr. Twisted Messes, sitting right beside me, and we're going to review this pod system. This is the Cedo from Rinco. I brought it with me to Sweden. I've been using it. I kind of like it, but I would like to get a Kent's a opinion on it as well. Do you have any sanitizing wipes? Do I have any sanitizing I've wipes? I've seen what your lips have been doing, and it's, it's grossing me My out. My lips have been eating donuts. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Uh. You know what sugar does to yeast? What does sugar do It makes to yeast? it brew into weird things that your mouth is full of yeast. Okay, so, so we're talking about the Cedar <laughs> from Rinco. It's a little uh, refillable pot system. You refill it with your own liquid. Aren't you going to explain not some, you're not, how we got here? Because... No. This is just a review for this people pot People are going to be like, why are they in bed together? It doesn't matter. We're just we're just in my hotel room. We're just two bros hanging, no big we're deal. We're just two guys hanging out in my hotel room on my bed. All right, I'll give it a shot. Okay. What flavor's in here? Does it matter? Should I try to guess? Okay. It's, oh yeah, try to guess. Tastes kind of greasy on my lips. What do you think about that vapor production? It wasn't very plentiful, was it? Wow, you're trying to lead me on here? Well, no, you I'm just giving you my opinion. Remember, this is a review for the pod system. We're not talking about anything else. Okay, you were asking for my opinion. Okay. And you're leading me. Okay, so I'm sorry. That was a little bit of a loaded question. Tastes a little bit marshmallowy. It's a custard. What do you think of the overall vape experience? What kind of what nicotine strength? I don't think it's... It's a 35 milligram really? uh, oh, Tarturo feels... egg tart. Feels a bit weak. It's the Tarturo Portuguese egg tart juice, salt neck version. I think it's pretty delicious. What do you think about the vape from the pod system? It's kind of weak. It's kind of weak? The sensation in right. the lungs, it's like it doesn't that's, have much that's, throat. It has to do with the juice, though. We're talking about the vape experience milligram. from the pod system. Well, if it's not enough nicotine for me, I'm not going to like it. You don't know how to like objectively review a mod or subjectively review a device without... It's getting dry hits now. Okay. <laughs> that's something that I ran into as well. <laughs> If you chain vape this, uh, it doesn't seem to hold up with the wicking very well. Can you like squeeze I take, it? No, no, no. It's pl it's hard plastic. It's a hard plastic pod. Okay. There's a refilly thing on the bottom. Oh. It's a little bit oddly shaped, and you have to vape from this. Uh, well, I don't this mind the shape of it. The right shape there. The shape's kind of cool. It feels good in the mouth and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I like the shape of it. I like the feeling of it. Yeah, for sure. It feels pretty solid. Now, are you doing mouth to lung or are you inhaling like lung inhale? Oh, mouth that was a lung. mouth to lung. I do mouth to lung, dude. Okay. I forgot that you actually know how to do mouth to lung. That's what I started on. Yeah. I started before C4s were like my, my fucking jam, bro. It's mouth okay. to lung. Well, I don't, the yin -yang. Do you want to go down this road? Because I was vaping on debridged Joytech 510 atomizers. Okay? <laughs> yeah, that was the first thing I had, but I didn't know what it was called. It's magnetically. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's magnetic. Oh, that's really cool. It just falls into oh, place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Check that out. Yeah, yeah, it just that's falls nice. into place. Okay, I it's like that. It's got uh, an LED indicator on it. When you're taking a toot, the LED indicator will light up. Uh, it charges via micro USB, which is fantastic are we in bring my in opinion. Toot? Are we bringing toot back? It's dry hitting. Yeah. I've also run into the dry hit problem. If you take like more than four in a row, your fifth one will definitely be dry. What is this device dry. called? It's called the CETO, C-E-T-O. From Rinco, R I N C O E. Right, straight from their website. It's a 228 watt kit. No, that's you're on the wrong thing. <laughs> it's a 228 watt, <laughs> smallest, most powerful device on the market. No, it's not. 30 second cutoff, but it has a 10s showing. A oh, 10 second, 10 second cutoff. 10 second cutoff. What's the capacity of the pod? Um, it has a mouthpiece, a filling slot. I'm not to that point yet. He likes to read all the useless information. Like, it's useless, made out of plastic. Useless, yeah, if you can't handle it. Aesthetically, I kind of like the way this looks. It's got this carbon fiber on the front, and it's just shiny black on the back. And it's got this golden brass sort of looking band on it, which, I don't know. I feel like that kind of makes it look cheap a little bit. Okay, you guys. That brass, Jess is definitely agreeing with me. I feel like it makes a little bit makes it look a little bit cheap. No, it looks like, like I wish that was just black. Dude, have you ever been to? You haven't been to China, okay? Have you ever been at one of those little carts or like someone who has like a cart with a blanket over the top and they're selling lighters? Sure. Yeah, like Mexico has those. Sure. Right. It looks like one of those little jet. Like you just click this and a little. Yeah. The jet lighter would be coming yeah, yeah. out. Okay, I got which you. Which makes that gold accent totally okay. But it fe even in it feels substantial. Like it feels yeah, it's heavy. Like it's you nice. know it's in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you it oh, would heavy. be difficult to lose this by accident. It's heavier than a key fob. Unless you have like a expensive car, then it's about the same weight. But like a Toyota. Okay. Let's get to the specs. What's the capacity of the two tank? millimeter two milliliters. Two millimeter capacity. Milliliter. <laughs> two mil capacity on the on the pod. 
Coil resistance, 1.3 ohms. 1.3 ohms on the coil. Regulated 3.3 volt stable output. Regulated 3.3 volt stable output. I made up the stable part, it just says. I'm, I'm assuming though, it, it's constant. I'm just gonna edit you completely out of this video. <laughs> Excellent. What's 370 ma. 370 ma? That's what it says. 370 ma. You want another millimeter no, dimension? No, that's it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's just finish up here with some overall thoughts on this thing. Here's what I've noticed about this. The vapor production on your first like two drags is a little bit on the weak side and you kind of have to warm it up before you get like a really satisfying vape from it. But then by the fifth drag on it, it's gonna be dry. But yes, otherwise- Fourth drag and stop. But otherwise, I, I like the size of it. I like the feel of it. I like the look of it. I like the capacity of the pod. I like that I can fill it with my own liquids. What do you think of the draw on it? How stiff or loose does the draw feel to you, Kent? For mouth to lung, it's a little too wide open for me. Yep, it's a little bit too wide open for like real good mouth to lung. If you're used to something like the Jewel or the Fix or a lot of other pod systems, <clears throat> it's more along the lines of like the Mi Pod yeah. as far as well, it's, airflow it's resistance. As, it's not as bad as the Mi Pod as it's far not as resistance. As, it's not as tight as a lot of really good mouth to lungs. But if you slow it down. I like a little bit more open of a mouth to lung though. See, that was pretty weak ass vapor right there. It doesn't feel satisfying to me. Second one's a little bit better. Let's see how the third one goes. Much better. Yeah. World's better. I wonder if I can get a fourth out with a four dry head. You get a, you'll get a fourth. Oh, I don't know. It's a little crackly. That was that was a little... Uh, I'm not even going for a fifth. Let it be yeah, Don't even go for a fifth. Oh, wait. Look. See that? Watch this. Revolutionary. See it pop out of the top? Can you see that on the camera? Yeah, that's just the air pushing the residual vapor out of the mouthpiece. Is this your first pod system you've ever used? Shh. <laughs> I'm on the cusp of a breakthrough. Maybe everybody on Instagram should have voted too. That's why I was trying to coax him into it. But I well, like the weight of it. Yeah, it's weighty. Feels good. What's the price on it, Kent? One last thing. What's the price? That was on their actual website, so they didn't tell me the price. My phone's going off like crazy. You gonna edit that part out? No. Um, nothing. It's not for sale. Okay, can't buy one anyway. Oh. Thanks, everybody. It's only 25 bucks. Really? From Vapor Range. 25 bucks, uh, I feel like that's almost cheap Fuck enough it. to buy it, just to try it out. Just to have it as okay, a paperweight. Okay, let me ask you the aliens question. If you had nothing to vape, if, if, if hypothetical aliens or the FDA, they came to your house and took all of your vape gear and you had nothing, is this something you would want to buy? Was my only option on the market? No. That's a silly question. Would you buy that? Right now, if you just got into vaping just today, all your vape gear is gone, is that something you would buy? If my friend had this and they're like, dude, try this, I'd be like, Whoa, that is cool as fuck! If I'd never seen vaping before? No, that's not, that's not the question. That's not the question, Kent. How do you okay. not understand this question? I understand that I don't I think your premise is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> okay. If if the FDA or the aliens came and stole all your vape gear, I'd be like, fuck you guys, first of all. That's messed up. Why are you taking it? And then they take it anyway because they have guns or something? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, so is this the first thing I go out to buy? No. Absolutely not. Is it something you would want to have? For mouth I mean, to lung? I mean, is you'd it, rather have what? Is it something I want right now? Stop is a trying better to, question. Just, just let me have it. <laughs> you keep waving it in front of my face and then pulling it away. <laughs> That's my foot. Yeah, everyone on Instagram definitely should have voted too. Now, let me tell you something about this pod system, brother. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> I actually really like this pod system. For 25 bucks, it's For a no-brainer. For 25 bucks, it's it's kind of a dope little pod system. Out of all of the this type of pod systems, there's others out there like the Kato Stealth and a few others. Out of all of them, this is the one I've probably enjoyed the most. It takes a little bit to warm up and you do get a dry hit on that fifth one okay. every time. And what I noticed in the comments of a lot of your other reviews of the pod systems, people don't like it when you have to buy the little pods to put in there that you can't refill with juice. This one you can refill. Yeah. But I don't agree with that because I used to I used to smoke cigarettes. I buy a new pack of cigarettes, can't refill a cigarette with tobacco. Right, but this isn't smoking, this is vaping. Yeah, I know. You also didn't buy batteries for your cigarettes, but you have to buy those now. Well, they should make it so you can buy pods. Can you buy pods full on these or are they all empty? All empty. But anyway, so I would prefer it to where you could buy a full pod and refill it if you'd like, you know, because it's going to wear out anyway. Like, that's what I really would like a company to do, is you can buy their juice with their specific nicotine, and you can refill it. 
you know good. that would be awesome well make it happen but right now we're going to finish up this review of the rinco cedo brought to you by twisted messes twisted messes Dot com. I didn't make this. All right, anyway, uh, that's what we got for today, everybody. Um, that was the single most obnoxious review I think I've ever filmed for my YouTube. But anyway, uh, Rinco Cito, uh, 25 bucks. It's a dope pod system. If you're into looking for a pod system, check it out. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, fucking Kent. Yeah, baby! Get it! Let's keep on vaping. Make it happen!